Hi, this is Raya with your weekly weather roundup for June 2nd to the 8th. A severe outbreak hit the U.S. this week, which according to Aon Benfield is expected to likely cost over $1 billion, which would make it the fifth billion dollar weather disaster so far this year. Eleven tornado reports out of Kentucky and Ohio on Wednesday, with two EF1s hitting Sturgis and Wheatcroft, Kentucky, both carving mile-long paths. Also on Wednesday, a storm moved through eastern Colorado, with six reported tornadoes causing damage, in addition to strong winds and hail. One such tornado hit Hugo, with measured gusts up to 111 miles per hour. Thursday, a long-lived derecho moved across the Midwest to the south, traveling over 1,000 miles over 15 hours, causing damage and at least three fatalities. Friday and Saturday, storms moved across the plains and south, with 37 tornado reports from the two days. The Alaska Volcano Observatory issued a red alert warning on Monday after eruptions of its Pavlov volcano intensified, sending ash 22,000 feet into the air. President Obama's administration released its Clean Power Plan this week, a proposal to reduce carbon dioxide emissions 30 percent by 2030, hitting coal-fired power plants the hardest. Given the stress of the week and the fact that NOAA published zero daily records for the last seven days, I'm going to say that at least 44 cutes were set this week across the U.S., with 42 baby goats, 